Okay, this is a little demo video on our uh, servo tester that we sell in our store, proto-pictocode.uk. It's got the part number PP Servo Tester, and if you just do a search for Servo Tester, you'll find it. Now this has got a, an input. Uh, you can you can send it a signal, you can send it a clock pulse and things like that, but typically what we do is um, we're just using it to test functionality of servos or for little manual projects. And all you need is 4.8 to 6 volts. So you can use like a battery pack or um, we're using this uh, power supply here just so I can show you some current draw as we test the different servos that we do. Uh, it's a three channel servo tester, it will do three servos all in a one. You just uh, connect them up across here. Uh, and it's got several different modes. It's got a manual mode, uh, so as you're turning the, the, the pot knob there, uh, you're, you're turning the servo. It's got a neutral mode, and when you press that, it'll, it'll drive the servo to its uh, neutral position. And then it's got an auto mode, which just drives the servo back and forward all the time. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, connect it up, and uh, we've got the power supply set for 5 volts. So it's just... Um, minus then plus on the N2 pins there and I've got a selection of servos that we do here this is the, the small servo that we supply with our starter kits and buffing kits then we've got the medium servo which is compatible with the robotic claw and then a big beefy servo as well and uh, I'm just going to put some uh, servo horns on that medium servo that I should have done beforehand uh, just so that you can easily see on the video uh, driving back and forward so we'll start off with the small servo first just plug it in like that and I'll just set that up. Switch it on and it's uh, drawing about 0 0.01 of an amp at the moment uh, and as I drive it back and forward it goes up to about just about 0 0.1 of an amp, about 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.08, 0 0.09 and uh, that's in manual mode so you can see as I turn that knob it turns the servo. Then I can select to go to the neutral position or auto just drives it back and forward between its two extremes. Okay, so that's there, that's that's sort of peaking at about 0.1 of an amp as it goes back and forward there on the power supply. So I just switch that off, disconnect the small servo and plug in the medium servo. Like I say, it can do all three in a one hour, but I just thought I'd show you individually. So in manual mode. That's kind of peaking at 0.2, I've seen that go to 0.2 of an amp. Uh, neutral mode and auto mode going back and forward there. And that power supply, if you can see that, is showing a bit of peak of point. Over there's 0.2 again, but 0.15, 0.2. Let's switch that back to manual and switch it off and try the large servo. Neutral and auto mode. And just running that with no load, we're showing, you know, just about 0.2 of an amp. So there you go, that's the servo tester available on ProtoPick and it's uh, a great way to test, you know, if you've got a project and you're not quite sure if your project's at fault or if it's a servo at fault, if you've got one of these really inexpensive little devices it'll allow you to test your servo in seconds. Also, if you don't want to use a microcontroller to, to drive your servos, uh, it's a really easy method of just having a, a simple control uh, on, a, on a knob to make your servos go back and forward. Okay, thanks very much.